Hola amigas y amigos, les traigo la sesión de autógrafos con la gran soprano Joyce Donato que está haciendo Agripina con nosotros en el MET y espero que la disfruten una vez más, está bien divertida y ella es muy buena frente a la cámara. Espero que les guste. Hasta pronto. Todo bien. Oh my God. Wait, this is the first recording I ever did. And, it's and I've never. On, on Super. And With Franz Rugen. Yeah, we did it in the. It was in Amsterdam and it was a freezing cold church. Oh, I was so nervous, but I loved it. Oh, Franz. And I've never seen this version of it. Whoa, he's so good. Yeah, Eric. Okay, next. Oh, yeah, hair. <laughs> Do you like the CD signed or the cover? Whichever you prefer. I'll do this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Hair. Those were the days. Can you tell me something about this recording? Well, I mean, this was um, one of my real first orchestral recitals, and it's Handel. I mean, we just come from a Handel it's rehearsal. Yeah, and it's furore. I mean, so this is the height of emotion and the height of um, exaggerated fury and everything. I'm very proud of that. Yeah, I'm proud of that album. I'd like to re-record everything of it, but... Oh, well, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> I'm very proud of this one because when I saw the LP and I got to do that because it's a double album, it reminded me of, I'm not joking, 1977 for Christmas, I got the Sean Cassidy The Do Run Run double album, and you opened it up and it was piano keys and like Sean Cassidy here. And so <laughs> I think I still have it. And it just, it, so it was the first LP that I had seen of mine. Is that right? I think this was the first LP that I did. And, and it's the, the project that has been the most personal to me. Um, in my whole career and, and always will be. It's about war and peace. Um, with the question in the midst of chaos, how do you find peace? A question I think that is very valid for us all to continue to ponder. And some great experts from Agrippina. Ah, which il, you are performing. il Pomodoro here and, uh, and Maxim Emelianchev. Yeah, big partners, musical partners and artistic partners. Yeah, I'm proud of that one. Well, thank you so much. Ah, okay. When is this? When is the podcast going on? Do we know? Oh, soon. I, it takes me a little while to write the, the subtitle, but I want to do it as soon as possible because I want to promote your work. So we are doing this lovely podcast on January uh, 11th, 10th, something like that. Anyway, in two weeks time, I go to Los Angeles for the Grammys because this is Grammy nominated. So I don't know, either I will be a loser or a winner by the time the podcast. Uh, either way, I love this. It's a sort of a fusion record going back to the time any vocal students out there have all sung the 24 Italian art songs. And Craig Terry, pianist extraordinaire and good friend of mine, came to me with the idea of sort of spicing up a little bit some of those standards. And that turned into the idea of fusing the jazz world and the classical world. And we have an incredible um, jazz ensemble, Chuck Israels on bass, Charlie Porter, amazing. 
trumpet, Lautaro Greco on the pandanion, Jimmy Madison on drums, and Craig on piano. It's, a great recording. it's, really it. it's so much fun and, and very high quality recording too. Super. We did it at Skywalker Ranch. Yeah, Steve Barnett was the producer on that, and we did a, a really had a dream job of doing this. Um, and my goal was to make this the first operatic dinner party disc so that we could, you know, I always put on Ella Fitzgerald or Frank or those kind of things for dinner party, and I wanted this to be it. <laughs> so embarrassed. <laughs> That's why I shook my head so quickly when you asked me if I'm a audiophile. Well, I wish you good luck in the Grammys, and you are a winner, and I'm not saying that just for me. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Es un placer. Thank you, thank you. Cheers.